So, for the last 13 or so years, we've killed a lot of stuff. We've killed fire lords, dragons, old gods, demons, more old gods, undead, more undead, each other, and the list really goes on and on and on. And I see a question asked every so often. It's, oh, what's at the bottom of the barrel? What's left to fight? We've fought everything that, that we can fight. And that's true. At least the second part is, what threats are actually left on Azeroth? To start, let's just say, for the sake of the video, uh, we defeat Nazoth, we kill Azara, and we dethrone Sylvanas, all in battle for Azeroth. I say this so they can't be just easy scapegoats, because we really don't know what will happen with them at the end of Battle for Azeroth. So I'm going to ignore them and just talk about other things. So the first, Bolvar. This is an easy one. We know Bolvar has been active since Legion. We we know he can take the Ebon Blade whenever he wants, and we know any day now he will break free for whatever purpose, and we'll have to go and fight him. I did an entire video around him and a potential return to Northrend expansion, so if you want to know more about that, well, I'll put like a little, like whatever those things are. Stemming off from Bolvar, the Ethereals and their home world. Ethereals, while they haven't played a large role since the Burning Crusade, could be a great threat or a potential ally. If, if you look at their lore, we find that the Ethereals hail from a planet called Karesh or Karesh or Ka K Karish. And it was once invaded by Dementius the All Devouring, a being that is said to be a fragment of the Void Lords. While Dementius is dead because we killed him in the Burning Crusade, the idea of going to a planet invaded and taken over by the rawest form of Void could make for a very interesting dynamic when it comes to a villain or a threat. As for number three, we have the Light. We've seen the Light, the Naru, and its followers act out of the norm a few times now. Uh, we have Zera, a Prime Naru who wished to force its will on Illidan for the good of life. Despite his denial, uh, we know there are many, many, many fanatical cults dating back to the early Warcraft days, for example, the Scarlet Crusade. I think it'd be interesting to look at the Scarlet Crusade again. And possibly the biggest example of the light swinging its big hammer of justice is the light-bound Drenai of alternate Drenor. They, for the good of the planet, began hurting the orcs and forcing the light's will upon them, causing even more war on Drenor. It'd be very interesting to see that Maybe after we defeat the old gods, the Naru try to bend us, the denizens of Azeroth, to their will to make us permanent soldiers in their machine rather than complacent allies so they can go and fight the Void. Speaking of cosmic forces, number four, the cosmic forces. <laughs> if the Light, which is a cosmic force, wants us to fight its enemies, well, why wouldn't everything else? In a Wowhead article I read a while back, it talked about a cosmic war where all the forces, so... The light, void, unholy, fell, arcane, and nature duke it out with one another, with us being forced to pick a side. This idea came off the back of a whisper of Nazoth, where he says, Six seats at the high table, six mouths that hunger, one will consume all others. Since there are six cosmic forces, and they all vie for power over the others or their enemy, it would be interesting to see the faces of each branch battle for supremacy over the very universe. So what do you think? Do you think any of the things I listed will show up in the future? Maybe you have an idea that I never even thought of, or even looked into. If you do, you can leave it, as well as all questions, comments, and concerns regarding this video, wow, or its lore, in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.